difference here is the introduction to project management. I really like to start this out with a quote from a well-known project management author. Her name is Joy Gum. So operation keeps the lights on, strategy provides the light at the end of the tunnel, but project management is the train engine that moves organization forward. So in order for the organizations to move forward, projects need to be able to successfully implement the change, making the change happen. So I like to think of a project management as a coin. So I like to think of it as a coin because it really represents the duality. There's essentially two sides to project management. The first side being the technical part. So each project is a change or creation of a product, service, or result. So that could be building a new app. It could be creating a new bus route in a public transportation system, or it could be uh, technological integration. So maybe introducing a new way of working within your organization. And then the second side is the actual adoption of that change. So this is the people side. So this really deals with organizations, employee, customers, stakeholders, and shareholders. The project roles need to manage and account for both the technical side and the human side. So I do want to highlight in a perfect world, there would be a project manager for the technical side and a change manager for the people side. However, a lot of organizations give both of these hats to the project manager. So you're in, tar- in charge of the technical as well as the people. And they just want to highlight that there. So change. I'm going to continue on with the honey coin analogy. Um, but change is the only consistent outcome of every single project. So project roles need to be masters of change making. So you're change making both the technical aspect as well as the human aspect. And I feel like when people hear the word change, they cringe up and they get a little nervous and uncomfortable, which is totally normal, but I'm going to try and reframe the idea of change. And so we look at it with a more positive perspective. Sometimes the change can be a little uncomfortable and cause friction, but in reality, it's actually a positive thing that's happening. So the first part of this is the network and with it starts with you. So personal growth and development requires you to get uncomfortable. So as long as you're actively checking in with yourself and reflecting, you can grow internally. There's obviously your team. So changing ways of working is always a bit painful, uh, but the result could be something really amazing. So that's something that you always want to remember. And then the organization. So in order to keep up with the changes happening in the world and market, Projects are necessary to push companies forward. So that's a really important thing to remember. So to wrap up this section, I want you to remember that projects equal change. And now we'll take a look at project role and the needed skills and capabilities. The project management is in the top 10 in-demand careers in Europe, and it's growing. The businesses are seeing the cruciality of project management and project-oriented roles in various industries and applications. This is not industry-specific. Essentially, every industry is changing and every industry needs people to help them make the change. So for context, there's going to be a total of 88 million project-related positions by 2027. So this is an increase of about 33%. So if you are exploring project management, Either you're expanding in your career or you're doing a career change, whatever it may be, it's a great time to get into the field. And project management is not new. So it actually has been around since the ancient Egyptians were building their pyramid. So it's totally not new, um, but we'll go over a quick history lesson. Like I was saying, the ancient Egyptians used project management to build their spectacular pyramids and tombs and all that beautiful things that they did. Um, So around 3000 BC, And then we're fast forwarding to the industrial revolution where project management actually got a solidified name and career course. So that was in the 1950s and then came the information and technology revolution. So that is what we've been living in the past few decades. Um, And with that came a Cambrian era in project management. So the past two decades, project management has been undergoing a Cambrian era. If you're not familiar with Cambrian era, it happened about 500 million years ago. There was a spectacular explosion of intense evolution and change. Um, So the past 20 odd years, project work has been rapidly changing due to technological advancement and the hundreds of project management software tools that have been created. Um, So with that, 
what project role come out of this evolution? 